Hello YouTube. Um, I made some scones last week, I think it was, um, and I got a couple of requests for the recipe. So here it is. It is so, so simple. Um, this is something I picked up while I was very briefly working in a cafe where um, every morning we would make savoury scones, sweet scones and muffins. So between arriving at 8.30 in the morning and 9 o'clock, they would be made from scratch, cooked and out there ready for people to buy them. So they are super quick to make. Scones can seem really fussy and finicky, but I promise you, you're seeing this in real time. Other than like obviously the baking, you are seeing this in real time. They are very quick and easy to make. And I've made these before on, you know, weekdays after work. Um, this is the sweet version, but you can do the savory version. Um, I've done the savory version with things like peppers and paprika, and then had it with uh, char grilled, uh, what the, I want to say zucchini, um, courgette, chargrilled courgettes, um, and some sriracha mayo, or even some like crumbled vegan cheese on top. Scones are super, super easy. So, what is actually in them? 350 grams of regular flour, 15 grams of baking powder, 100 grams of sugar, and 50 grams of butter. Now, what I have done here is I've put it in the machine just to make it a bit easier. Um, you you can do it by hand you kind of want to rub the fat in first but I just let it run for a bit with just the fat first and then I start adding water you can add soy milk almond milk what you can have whatever milk you like into it I just add water because it's all about the fillings for me um so add the water in bit by bit I think it was about half a cup I put in it depends on your flour it depends on a lot of things that bit is best eyeballed and then you put your fillings in. So with this, I put in a quarter of a cup, so about 25 grams of sesame seeds because those are the kind of like seedy nut things I have in the cupboard at the moment. And I'm trying to kind of use up what I've got rather than keep buying new things. Um, I've used walnuts before, peanuts, use whatever you want. And then there was 50 grams of dates. So this is a date and sesame one. Um, with the walnuts, I did apricots um i've also done apricot and uh salted peanuts that was a really good combination have a play around put whatever the hell you like in it um orange zest and cranberry is another one that i really really like um but yeah play around put whatever you want in them i've put some more sesame seeds on top because why not i like sesame um and yeah it's literally as simple as that. I'm scoring it beforehand to make it a bit easier to cook, um, just so that it makes sure the middle bit is cooked and it's easier to cut afterwards, so then you can eat it hot out the oven. You can do the cutter thing and make individual ones, but to be honest, I'm all for just making it as quick as possible. 20 minutes later, 15, 20 minutes later in a 200 degree oven, this is what you've got. Scones, ready to go, lovely and fluffy, lovely and light, and yeah, they're fantastic. So give it a go. Um, if I've kind of thrown too much information at you in one go, there is a PDF recipe over on Patreon, so head on over there and check it out. Thank you for watching. Um, check us out on Patreon. Give us a bit of support if you can, if you want to. Uh, we really appreciate it. Hit subscribe if you haven't already, and we will see you again next time.